This episode is brought to you by Hapo's Custom Suspension Works has everything you need for your air or hydraulic suspension needs, including a multi-bay garage with highly skilled installers and a full machine shop to make your custom suspension dreams a reality. Visit Hapo's at 11195 South Central Avenue or at hapo'sonline.com. This is the art of low riding. A true automotive enthusiast has a passion for their dream car and strives to create their own vision of what that car should be. With each vehicle owner being the artist and their car as a canvas, creating automotive art and their dream ride. Today we're at the Los Angeles Convention Center at the second annual Torres Empire Lowrider Super Show. So join me as we uncover the art of lowriding. I'm here with George, the owner of this 1980 Le Cabriolet, very rare uh, vehicle. George, let us know what it was like when you got it and what it took to build your ride, man. Um, I bought the car in um, 2006 and um, I bought the car in Utah and I bought the car like basically just a shell. And uh, it was pretty rusty, um, only from the doors to the back. And um, April 2006, uh, the first thing I did is uh, uh, pick up the body off the frame, and it's, it's just going from there. So it was it was a frame off restoration. Yes, um, I did the frame off, uh, basically because it's a convertible. So I feel like I need to do like a fully wrapped frame. You know, with the hydraulics, I need a, a stronger frame, yeah. you know, for the streets and to mold it basically for the points at the shows. Yeah. So once the body was out the frame, what, what did you do first? Um, I brought the paint all the way to the metal and I started doing the body work. And then I did the modification with the front end. Uh, that's the 1980, so we added the 1990 front end with the 1990 digital dash and um, and then I started laying the paint. The paint job, I worked on it for four months, six months to have it ready for Vegas show. I brought it out the first time with no colors on it, just a basic color. Coming back from Vegas show, uh, unlucky, fell off the transporter and uh, the whole front end got damaged. I got it back, I rebuilt it and had it ready again for the 2008 Vegas show. And basically we did all the layouts on the, on the paint. Uh, what colors are on your car? Tell me about the colors, because there's more more than one color on there. Um, well, I got the lavender base coat, and then I I got a lavender pro on it, and a candy uh, pro, another purple pro, and a candy magenta. Okay, so uh, you didn't have anything chrome in the engine or anything at that point? Yeah, I did a molding suspension. I did a molded frame, a molded top and bottom A arms, trailing arms. And uh, once I got the chassis rolling, I, I went and put the body back in the in the, in the, in the chassis. And did you do a post uh, right after that, or? Well, for 2007 Vegas, we did everything: interior, body and paint, suspension, and um, as well as hydraulics. Did you already have all the engraving done at that point? No, I did the engraving for 2009. That's when I did the engraving. So you basically had to take all that stuff back apart again and do, redo chrome and engrave everything. We got in a little accident, so we crashed the car. The whole front end was gone again, and we we took advantage and did all the engraving. Once the car was down, we did all the engraving. Tell me about your setup. I got a four pump setup. Uh, it was done and uh, designed by the Mojo Man Box. Um, I got four squares, four um, slow downs, water faucets, uh, four aircraft. Um, check valves with um, alum no, not aluminum, I got steel blocks, mini pumps, and all hard line. Uh, I, the rack has, uh, it's chromed out and engraved. What, what did you have to go through to get that done? Uh, it was a hassle. <laughs> it was pretty much, um, when I was asking around to get it done, a lot of people was, you know, was telling me it's, it's gonna hard to do it, you know, don't do it, cause it's gonna, it'd be hard about it to put it back together. 
and I was just, you know what, just not go ahead and do it. I feel like another man build it, I, I don't see why not. Another man can take it apart and put it back together. Hey man, great job on the car, it's beautiful. Thanks. Hey, uh, you want to introduce your wife and your family right here? Oh, uh, it's my wife, uh, Rosie, my little one, Madeline, my right hand, Georgie, and Lely. Beautiful, beautiful family, brother. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. This car is another great example of today's lowrider. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show, and I look forward to seeing you next time as we uncover the art of lowriding. For over a year now, we have been submitting our shows to TV networks with no luck. They feel that lowriding is not a big enough market for television. Help us show them how big the lowriding community really is. Please like, subscribe, and share our videos with everyone you know. And like us on Facebook.